today I'm going to be sharing my 2023 favorites. <laughs> and welcome back or to my channel today i'm going to be sharing my 2023 favorites so everything of the past year that i've been loving because i had quite a bit of favorites it's gonna be a pretty long one so i would definitely recommend grabbing a snack and a drink just to relax and see all the favorites that i enjoyed last year i know if you guys are not new to this channel i did take a little bit of a break and i am finally back but i just need that little break for the holidays because it was just a lot but yeah i decided to film this video i know i'm a little bit late but we are still in the month of january so we still have a whole full year ahead for you guys to enjoy some of my favorites if any of them intrigue you so yeah if you guys enjoy these kind of favorite videos definitely give this one a thumbs up also if you aren't already subscribed definitely subscribe down below if you enjoy this kind of content and also if you want to keep up with me in real time while i'm not here on youtube definitely follow me over on instagram and I'll also have my TikTok link down below. So let's jump right into this favorites. So the light might keep changing because, you know, I have a train outside and it's like reflecting the sun. But the first category we are going to jump in is going to be like beauty stuff and like care, fragrances, all that type of stuff. So I'm going to first start off with makeup that I've been loving. And the first product is going to be the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Bombs. I believe that's what they are called. And I have two shades. This one is vanilla and this one is vanilla beige. So I've been loving these a lot. They have been keeping my lips really hydrated and not sticky at all. I know they've been pretty popular lately. And, you know, especially for the past year, I definitely want to get more shades. They are a little pricey for a lip balm. I know there's more expensive ones and there's a lot of cheaper ones, but I've slowly been <laughs> collecting. This one I bought myself off TikTok shop. Is that a coupon and then this one i actually got for christmas and once again i'm sorry that the sun is so bright but it should hopefully change throughout this video next is a skin favorite that i've been loving and i know you guys seen me rave about this in the past the past year at least and this is a super goop glow screen with spf 40 and it is in the shade golden hour and i have been loving this sunscreen because I was able to wear it in the summertime as like a little foundation, some coverage because it is tinted. And I've been carrying it with me on my past trips that I've went on and I just love it so much. I love their sunscreen, it's so good. And you know, this has just been a game changer, especially under makeup, it makes my skin so like glowy and stuff. So I really love this product. Next is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes. They just come in like these little jars. I think this one is in the shade Maui, I believe. And it's just this really like dusty pink color. And this is actually a cream blush. And I'll usually take like a fluffy like blush brush and I'll just like dip it in there and put it on my cheeks. I'm wearing it right now. I know you can't tell because of the sun. But it just adds a nice like luminous like it says glow they also have the other ones that aren't luminous i know i have like a reddish tone color which is really nice for the summertime when i have more of a tan but this i've been loving so easy definitely cut down my like makeup routine especially when i wear it with this easy and just on the go next i don't have the full size of this because i just been getting the travel size i don't know why but this is the hourglass banish airbrush concealer and i have it in the color beach and it just looks like this this is just like my little one but i've been loving this concealer to me it doesn't crease and it just really like super just like mattifies under my eye not mattifies but just like makes it flat like i feel like i have like really deep creases under my eye and i feel like it just kind of helps to conceal that and this is like a perfect color for me because it's like two shades lighter so it definitely brightens up under my eye but this is probably my favorite concealer i've ever tried i keep getting the travel size because i feel like it's just easy to like take along with you but yeah, I would highly recommend checking out the Hourglass Concealer if you want something that's like very full coverage and doesn't crease, at least to me. You could just try it out and they come in mini size. So definitely pick one up if you're interested. Now next is something else that is pretty pricey that I actually like invested in. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. And I believe I have it in medium deep. So it just looks like this and I'm not going to take it off, but it just has like that like foam doe foot like applicator that you could just like 
pet all around your face but mine is like pretty messy because I would fly with it and it does kind of like explode a little bit which is not really good but I don't want to take it off because the cap's gonna be all messy but I love this it's like a cream contour or bronzer I'm wearing it now once again you can't tell but it's so easy to blend it's just so nice I love the color not too warm not too cool definitely works for my skin tone but they have like the lighter shades and they also i think have the highlighting ones which i would love to try pretty pricey i will say but it has lasted me so long it's lasted me all year and even if it expires I'm probably still gonna use it I'm not gonna lie but been loving this i just take like the beauty blender and just blend it in and you're done ready to go next is a drugstore favorite and this is the l'oreal telescopic waterproof mascara it just looks like this i just have it in the color black and i love this mascara this is the one mascara that i've found that i really love can't really tell what me wearing it on right now but this has been a game changer for my eyelashes i have very short stubby eyelashes so i want more like lengthening and that's exactly what this gives it gets me like those spider lashes but I just love this mascara so much. It will definitely be my number one go-to. The best mascara that I've ever tried for myself. It doesn't make my eyes look too like dark and like the eyelash is so short. It definitely lengthens them. So yeah, if you have short stubby eyelashes like me, definitely recommend this one. And last makeup fave is going to be this Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. And this is in the color 40B My Sunlight. And it just looks like this. And this was actually a product that I used on my sister for her wedding day. So you can believe that it is such a great product. I love it because it's just like a nice like gold tone. I don't know if you could tell. It's like a subtle sheen. And it's not like too glittery, like chunky glitters. It's literally just like a sheen on your skin. And just like a natural glow on your skin. I love it so much. Very inexpensive. I think they sell this brand at Ulta. So I will keep picking this up. This has lasted me a long time. It's still lasting me. So I love this highlighter. It definitely has that beautiful glow as you can see in my face. Pick one up. Great for like, you know, like tan skin tones, but I'm sure it looks nice on everyone. I even use it like on inner corners. It's just perfect. Next, I'm going to move into hair favorites, which isn't a lot, but it's just two items. No, three items actually. So the first one is a product that you will be seeing me use in a upcoming video on how I do my hair from curly to straight. And this is the Chi Infra Silk Infusion. And I have been using this and implementing it into my blow drying hair routine. And it has been a game changer for making my hair not be so poofy and fluffy. It just has been so great. I know a lot of women use it when they do like silk press and stuff, hence the name Silk Infusion. And it has just been a game changer to keep my hair nice and silky, especially since I have naturally curly hair, it tends to get frizzy very easily. So adding this just as that nice sleek finish and you can find these at like TJ Maxx, which is where I found mine for like half the price. So definitely recommend checking out there if you do have the same type of hair texture that I do or even more textured hair. This is a game changer when blow drying it. Next is a product that I actually found on TikTok and I'll probably put video here, but it's basically called the wrap cap. And mine just looks like this. It just has like these two combs on the side. And what you'll do is like, you kind of like twist the whole thing and it gives like these bristles that like pop out, which is great. Um, if you are someone that knows how to like wrap your hair, if like let's say if you want to like Dominican salons and stuff, they usually will like wrap your hair up to like set it. And that's basically what this helps to do. And it makes it so much easier because you just pop it on your head, open each comb and you just twist it over your head. As you'll see in the TikTok video, so easy to use. I've always had a difficult time wrapping my own hair and using this has made me able to even wrap it without using this just with a brush and it has just been so good for my hair to set it at night so once again i have that silky smooth hair so highly recommend this if you are someone that does wrap your hair at night i think it was worth all the money i think i actually had a discount when i bought it i think they usually have sales but this has been a game changer i really love it and it's just a great product last hair item is a brush which is a little bit dirty but this is the wet brush and i actually picked this up from tj maxx and I've been using this to just brush out my hair. I use it when my hair is wet, hence the name. I even use it when I blow dry my hair because it has like these 
slots open so the air could pass through but i love this it's very gentle on your hair like i could just go straight through and it doesn't tug or pull they had a bunch of these in a bunch of different colors at tj maxx a lot of these stuff like i pick up at tj maxx i don't like spending full price usually so you know you can find them like good finds there but they have a whole wide variety of these brushes definitely recommend it it works as like a comb as well especially like when you get out the shower especially when you do curly hair routines this is also helpful so highly recommend this next i'm going to share some like fragrances and scents that i've been loving so the first one is this kayali yum pistachio gelato 33 it is like this this is the smaller size i know the bottle is usually like a light pistachio green color but i've been loving this obviously i got influenced by tiktok I can't tell if it smells like pistachios, but to me, it smells like a nice, like really musky vanilla sort of scent. And I really love that. I know they have a bunch of other scents, which I definitely want to invest and pick up. But I've been loving this one. I actually got this one for Christmas, but I did try it beforehand in the Discovery set that I got. And I really highly recommend it. It has been my favorite scent to go to as of late. Next is a Target spray that i don't actually have because i ran out of it hence why it's one of my favorites and it is the frenchy i think it's like the vanilla cashmere scent i love that you guys know that i shared it in like monthly resets as my favorites it is such a great like vanilla musky scent once again that i love so much great body spray it took it on my trips with me just gives me like that nice summery feel of like a nice sweet vanilla but just like you know very light and airy so i love that frenchy line i even have like the body lotions and stuff and i highly recommend getting it because all their scents are really good but that has to be my favorite and the last category for beauty will be nails and as you guys know i do my own nails at home i usually do the gel x but one of these products has actually changed the game with the Gel X and I've kind of been moving on to like press-ons. But first, I'm going to share my favorite nail polish that I've been loving and this is OPI's Nail Lacquer in Getting Naughty on my honeymoon. <laughs> so it just looks like this, a beautiful pale pink. I'm wearing it right now, but it's just like a nice cool tone pale pink, which I've been loving. I found this at TJ Maxx and I will definitely be on the hunt once it goes bad or I need another one. And grabbing it online because i love it i'm more of like a cool tone pink kind of girl i feel like it just works for my skin tone because i do have like a neutral skin tone and i feel like it just looks really nice on me next is what has been the game changer and these i didn't are like gel x tips but i use a regular nail glue for them and they have been lasting for about two weeks which is crazy so i actually found this on tiktok and i think this you can only find it at Sally's, but I actually picked mine up, mine up on eBay because I needed it sooner and Sally's was like saying like a week and a half. So this is the Beauty Secrets Nail Glue and it literally looks like this. It looks very like the salon-esque, but when I tell you this is the best nail glue, some people their nails last up to a month where even then it's still on and it like fully like grows out and mine has been lasting for like over a week now which i know like i work with my hands at work like i pull charts out and stuff and i'm always like carrying things and not one has broken or popped off which has always been a problem for me so i highly recommend this glue i think it's a little pricier for nail glue i think i spent like 14 i don't know but it is the best thing ever even better than crazy glue you probably use it for other stuff too but I love this nail glue so much. Next, I'm going to jump into like some health products that I've been loving. And the first one is going to be Liquid IV. I usually drink the lemon lime one, which is this one. And I love these. It has been so helpful, especially if I have like a hangover. This really helps with like an electrolyte type of drink. I will say they are a little bit pricey because I think like the pack of like 10 in the little boxes is like 16. And even the big bag that you could get, I think if like 20 or so ends up being like 25, which I guess isn't that bad when you break down each individual one. But I try to wait till the Amazon sales when they go down to like $16 for the big bag. So that's usually when I get these. But I love this so much. It definitely helps me stay hydrated throughout the day. I usually will drink it at work and I'm good to go. And even when I went on like to Disney and stuff, 
this has really helped to make me stay hydrated even though i did need a little bit more but i know my sister she used it in her water bottle at the parks and she felt hydrated and completely fine the whole day and it was super hot outside so highly recommend this if you deal with hangovers or you just want to stay super hydrated these are the best things in the world and speaking of hangovers this is something else that has really helped my sister actually discovered this and I decided to grab it like when we went to her wedding or when I was in her wedding, not we went to, but I was part of the wedding. I actually packed some of these because I drank a lot the next day I was up and ready to go. And these are just the purple tree pills. It says for a great day after celebrating and they're just like a daily supplement. I think they have like all just natural stuff like B1, B12, B6, um, B2, magnesium, zinc, and I think it has like DHM, milk, thistle, cactus, prickly pear, like just different supplements that helps you get over that hangover. And I love this. Like it has really helped. The most I have is like a little headache, but this will not make you throw up, feel nauseous, nothing. You can take it before you drink, while you're drinking, or right after you drink. So it works really great that way. And usually you'll take two to three. I usually take two, but it's just a really great product. If you are someone that deals with hangovers, this is great. You know, some people aren't into like supplements like that. But for me, this has been really good. Next, I'm going to move into like food, which isn't a lot. It's just like three things. And, and the first one is going to be a diet Coke. <laughs> I've been loving diet Coke. I made the switch last year. I feel like I was influenced by Brianna Tata because she loves diet Cokes. And ever since I found her videos, I said, let me try it. It was a little bit weird at first, but now I, could just chug this thing in 2.5 seconds it is so good like i think the difference between regular coke is that this is more bubbly i guess because that's why it is dyes like the carbonation and stuff but it's just so much more bubbly lasts longer and doesn't get flat easily so then that's why i really like it and i've just been craving it. it has more caffeine in it too which is probably why i crave it more but yeah diet coke has been my go-to in the past year and probably this year next is a candy item that i've been loving and i kind of eaten like half the bag ready but these are the nerds gummy clusters and i love these so much i would always get the pink bag but recently i tried the blue one and i really like it but these are so good like this has been like the best candy this year and i know my sister loves it also it just has been so delicious sometimes i eat like the whole bag in one day which is terrible but i just fell in love with these they're like mini nerds ropes like little pieces of it so i love those during the holidays so i definitely love these and last for food is actually a place because if i shared an item from this place it would be basically all the items and it is trader joe's as you guys know from my past like vlogs and stuff i've been loving trader joe's last year i've been going there like almost every single week i haven't as of lately just because i've been doing like more bigger grocery shopping but i love trader joe's i love all their items i even bought everything from there for like my christmas dinner and like lunches and breakfast that we were having and everything is just so good their snacks are so good and for the prices it's amazing i love trader joe's especially the one near my job is like giant enough where you know it doesn't get crazy hectic because trader joe's could give me anxiety but i just love everything from there trader joe's has been my go-to definitely helped me stop ordering out at home and even sometimes at work i could bring some like of their mini microwave meals but Trader Joe's has been my go-to as of last year and hopefully will continue to this year. So next we are going to go into clothing, accessories, bags, shoes, all that type of stuff. Starting off with shoes, these have been my favorite towards like the middle to the end of the year. And these are the Adidas Sambas. I just have like the original like color way, I guess. I don't know, the black, but the gray and the white, you know looks really good i did kind of dent the foot quite a lot made a huge like bend in that but i've been wearing these so often especially like wide leg pants to work so cute really comfortable like super duper comfortable i love these definitely want to get more colors but you know for now these are what i'm going to stick with and they're in pretty good condition still next i'm just going to share one foot because i'm actually wearing these right now and they are these ugg slippers which i've had for probably 
five or six years and they just look like that they are called the classic slipper which i don't think they sell it on the website anymore i thought i saw it on the website but i know like other stores will occasionally sell it like nordstrom or maybe even bloomingdale's i'm not sure but it has more of like that older type of ugg insole like fur and these are still so comfy that's how i know it's like the original way they used to make them but i love these of course mine is all dirty just it needs help but i don't care because i'm going to continue to wear them for the rest of my life <laughs> so to me they've been in pretty good condition of course like some of my jeans has rubbed off but these are so lovely and in the sense of the comfort so highly recommend these if you can find them anywhere people might just be reselling them but they are so comfy to me next is a clothing item which fits in a whole category which is puffer vest this one specifically i've been loving from old navy it's like this chocolate brown color and i have more from primark i obviously been wearing them towards the end of the year when it was getting a little bit cooler but i love puffer vests they have been my favorite because i'm someone that overheats quite a lot and this had just you know been uh, in between that you know my core stays warm but i don't feel like i'm super bundled up and like sweating in a big coat of course this upcoming week is going to be super freezing so i had to wear my big coat but these have just been so good with a nice sweatshirt and they're stylish i think they're pretty stylish so definitely puffer vests have been my favorite and lastly i have some bags to share the first one is from amazon and it's just this bucket bag that i got with this like long belt strap it has these tassels that you can pull and tighten and just your literal like pleather bucket bag and this is just from amazon it was a decent price i really love it i know i've shared it in the past and a monthly favorites but this has been my go-to like weekend bag when i'm just going out it's just so easy to carry around especially because it's cross body you can wear it on your shoulder you can tighten this keep it open however you like and it fits so much stuff i can fit in here if i want to carry it to work i can if i'm having like a quick easy day where i'm not packing lunch but I love this bag so much still has been in good condition has it even scratched which i love and it was super affordable and last but not least for the clothing and accessories is this big giant tote bag from target with these long straps it has two pockets on the sides and then some compartments inside and i've been loving this as like my weekender bag almost because it's not too too big but i also bring it to work sometimes when i go to like trader joe's is so big that i can like put items in but not too giant where it feels like am i going on a trip when i'm just going to work but i love this i think i got it on sale for like 20 something don't know if it's still available but it's so pretty i know they had like a different style which was like a teddy sort of style but i love this bag a lot i've been using it when i like go over to my sister's um to just like hang out or even when i went over for like christmas to sleep over to fit everything in here so highly recommend this bag i've been loving it and will continue to love it so next is going to be some home items and this first one i'm a little bit nervous about because i've been seeing the whole trend and how people have been acting crazy for these lately and it's just really insane to me i do love mine just because it's been really helpful for me like implementing water and stuff but other than that this is like the only one that i have and i don't think i need a million more and by that you could probably tell that it is the stanley so this is my i think it's the 30 ounce one i don't have the one with the handle completely fine with this one this is in the cream color and i got this i think from william sonoma i think i got it from i even have like these caps i got from amazon but i've been loving this especially with the liquid iv adding some ice in there definitely keeps it super cold i am a cold water kind of girl so this has been really great for that and then i have a 20 ounce one that i keep at work to drink water there so i only have two might just get one more for a nice coffee to bring to work but other than that this is all i need i don't need to go knocking people over <laughs> at target and grabbing every single color you know just basic water bottle fine and even so there's some other favorites that i want to try out that people have been loving for water bottles other than stanley's because these could be a little bit ridiculous in price but you know last year this was my favorite and it'll be my favorite until i find a cheaper alternative 
And next are two items that I cannot share because they are on my kitchen counters. So the first one is an ice maker that I actually got for Christmas in 2022. And I've been loving that because I've been able to make ice like in big batches to put in my water and I would just like put the ice in my freezer and it would just I could just scoop it out when I need some so I've been putting in my waters making iced coffees it just has been really great and if I make like mixed drinks I would just turn my ice maker when I'm doing other stuff and by the time you know it I have a bunch of ice that I can use so I love that ice maker I believe it's from Amazon but they have a bunch of different ones even smaller ones and you can even travel with them so highly recommend an ice maker if you're an ice girly like me and mine is crushed ice like chick-fil-a so even better and then the next and last item for home is going to be my beautiful air fryer and literally that is the name of it the brand it is from the drew barrymore brand at walmart and i think it was only like 60 bucks and it is so beautiful literally what the name says i'm kind of sad because i did burn the handle the other day and i'm so sad but it's not too noticeable but i love that air fryer it has been making cooking so much easier i could even cook like salmon and stuff in there i've been making like roasted potatoes so easy and quick so i highly recommend this air fryer because it's been doing me justice for the entire year and i just love it so much next i'm going to jump into our pop culture sort of section of this video which is like the last section basically and i'm going to talk about some movies that i've been loving last year the first one is offenheimer i was more of an offenheimer fan than i was of barbie love barbie still but just offenheimer i love the whole you know cinematic views of movies and that one was just really super nicely cinematic and just like the way everything was like fast moving especially like towards the end like the trial scenes and stuff i just loved that a lot i love kellen murphy don't know if i'm pronouncing his name right but love him in all those other movies even like in quiet plays 28 days later he's just a great actor and in this movie he just did a phenomenal job like just completely in character just loved it so so much i even download like the soundtrack it's just so good then it would be gran turismo which i recently watched like during christmas break i actually really liked it it wasn't too much of like oh my gosh car racing fast and furious it was like it was good like it has some drama in it and i'd never heard of the story before i didn't even know that was a real story but it was a really good movie in my opinion i did love to play like racing games with my brother growing up but this just added that game feature into it but not making it too video game like like still adding that drama and like movie effect to it and then the last one is the movie talk to me which was the a24 film which was completely not what i expected i thought it was gonna be more like you know very horror like boo like scary that's what i got from it which it is kind of but it's more like thriller suspense where it's like kind of real life i guess you can say like to me it felt a little bit real life and it was very just like intense like whoa what is going on it still has that like paranormal effect but it's almost like showing like this is what someone could probably really do like it's a real person doing this and it was just really like i don't know like a little dark and like oh man like very uh what is going on this is crazy so highly recommend it it is a little bit like gory gruesome so if you get kind of queasy then i wouldn't recommend watching it but to me i personally enjoyed it because i love a21 films so like hereditary all those type of films midsummer definitely give that midsummer type of feel loved it so yeah check those movies out if any of them appeal to you next i'm going to move into tv shows and the first one is the mandalorian as you guys know that was like my whole thing for like going to disney and stuff was watching the mandalorian like just the whole star wars and grogu i just got so obsessed with it i cannot wait for the following season to come out i don't know when hopefully sometime this year but i still need to watch like ahsoka because i didn't watch that one yet but i loved mandalorian which made me watch all the star wars films like back to back to back which i never really watch just mandalorian is so good to me and just made me so invested 
definitely can't wait to watch it again. Next is The Last of Us, which has been a big one also last year. I think it was like one of the most watched series last year, like almost like with Game of Thrones and stuff. And I loved that show so much. I remember I played the video game a little bit when it first came out. So I knew someone like the beginning, like, oh, I remember this, but it was so good, especially that one episode that, you know, made everybody cry. Oh my gosh. Still, when I forget about it and then I remember, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that happened. It makes me want to rewatch it again before the new season comes out. But I love that show so much. It was so good and just so like, uh, like I just loved it a lot. Next is the show From, I think this was the second season or the third season. I don't know, but just the way it ended, I'm like, oh shoot, real things are about to start happening. So I know there's definitely gonna be a next season because it was a major cliffhanger, but I love that show so much. Definitely is that scary factor, but also just like drama and just, you know, it definitely reminds me of Lost. I think it's from the creators of Lost, but adding more of that like thriller to it because I love horror type of stuff. So love that show we'll continue to watch it when it comes up with another season and last is squid game the challenge i've watched the first squid game but last year the challenge came out and i thought i wouldn't like it because i'm like oh this is a real people why couldn't they just make like a season two of the regular show but i really thoroughly enjoyed it and it definitely kept me like interested and like annoyed with some of the players but surprisingly like I still enjoyed watching it, even like the games, it looked very real to the original show. So I really liked it. I know they're like even asking for like cast members and I think my sister like signed up to like join it. So we'll see if she joins into the next season. But yeah, really like that show. Next is going to be music and it is just one artist and all her songs and it is Mariah the Scientist. I've been loving her music all of last year. Definitely listen to it on my trips that I went to. It's just such a nice, good feel. Music, just to get into the zone. I love her voice. It's just her whole aura. I know that's one of her songs, but her whole aura is just so good. And I know she's having a concert in April and I would totally go for my birthday, but I don't think anyone else that I know listens to her. So I'm like contemplating on going by myself, but I really do like her. So we will see, but I love almost all her songs. Like if not all like it's just i play it in the background it just makes me feel really good even though she's talking about you know like love stuff and heartbreaks and good things but i just love all her music definitely has been a top artist for me of last year and i know it will be for this year next is going to be a youtuber that i've been loving i mentioned her previously and it is brianna tata and i've been loving her videos ever since i watched i think it was like a disney pack with me for 2022 i think is when i saw it or no i saw it at the beginning of last year but i think it was from 2022 i'm not sure and ever since like every day i look out for a video that she uploads like when i tell you i've been so addicted to her and she definitely has like influenced me on youtube to be even better like i've been on youtube for i think longer than she has i think it's like six or seven years i've been on youtube and up until now when i just found her channel it just made me feel so much better of like posting stuff as you could tell guys could tell from last year i've just been pushing out the content and she was a big part of that because she just made me feel really motivated and her videos are just so like laid back and realistic and just chill and she doesn't care if she makes like mistakes and stuff or even how she looks she'll just talk about it be like sorry that my hair looks like that like she's just so real love her disney content of course definitely helped me when i went to disney but just love everything about her and you know she will always be one of my top favorites definitely in like the top five for me right now so definitely check out her videos if you guys haven't and then last i'm going to share three memories from 2023 that i you know will always be reminded of and to our trips so the first one is universal i did go to universal yeah last year with both of my sisters and that was just really nice because we went on so many rides back to back to back love the hotel we stayed at the polynesian i think it was or am i getting mixed up with disney i don't know we stayed at one of the hotels that looks like polynesian style and i love that trip so much it was my birthday trip i actually flew out on my birthday which was just 
weird because I'd never flown anywhere like on my birthday or like went away for my birthday. So I think that was like my first real birthday trip and I just enjoyed it so, so much. It was really fun. And then next would be my Disney trip that I went on just because, you know, I going back to Disney since I was a little kid. I did go back when my brother had to make a wish. I do have that video on my YouTube, but I feel like I can experience it too much because once again, we were there for him and I wanted to go back and see all the new stuff that they had and it was just really great. It was really hot, but I still enjoyed it. All the rides. I love the Guardian of the Galaxy ride, Cosmic Rewind. It's just so fun and the food that we had like i'm so happy we treated ourselves to a really nice dinner it was just a really great trip and i definitely will be going back and the last memory that you know made my 2023 is my sister having her baby which is my niece and it has just been such a crazy ride from when she first told us that she was pregnant i don't know if i'm the first person that she told i remember we were going to the mall and she told me and i was just whoa like what is happening in my head but i was like super excited but you know from the baby shower and everything and now that she's finally here already growing big like it's still surreal that like there's a baby in our family like our immediate family because i don't know like i never thought like any of us would have kids and I'm just excited to see her grow up. To me, she has been just so lovely and like funny, like just things that she do. I already see like her personality, like from that, like the personality and jokes that we have, I've already seen that she's gonna be that kind of person. And she's just been such like a wonderful, you know, like blessing basically. And I can't wait to spend a lot more time and years with her. I know I'm gonna be that cool one, you know, kind of doing some of the bad stuff that my sister and my brother-in-law will not want me to do but you know she won't be drinking any sodas that is a fact especially not no diet cokes but yeah i can't wait to see her grow up and just enjoy her life with her so yeah that was probably my favorite memory of last year and will be even more memories with her for the upcoming years but yeah that is all of my favorites for 2023 i know this one was probably really long and it's gonna be hell trying to edit it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you got some like favorites that i loved that you can incorporate into your life and you know i'll definitely be doing another one of these at the end of this year or in 2025 for 2024 but yeah i'm excited to see what new memories i create and things that i start loving but once again i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you guys in my next one bye